Hey everyone, Scott Nichols here with Sick Boat Creative Studios, and today we're gonna to take a look at our PNG Photo Film Frames Pack, a handcrafted high-res collection of over 101 film textures overscanned at 10K resolution, sourced from a number of prominent 35 millimeter, 120 millimeter medium format film frames, Polaroid film frames, Hasselblad, and our favorite, the Lomo Kino Sprocket Panorama film frames. The pack is compatible with all major photo and video editing software from Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, and more. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these in Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna be organized into six folders. One is the film frames, sprockets, punch holes, leader and clutter, dirt and noise, and some accents. As you click into the film frames, you're gonna have 35 millimeter, 120 millimeter medium format, and some Polaroid film frames. Within each one of these folders, you're gonna have some subfolders, which the 35 millimeter, you have a single frame, you have two frames, three frames, four frames, and five plus frames. So you have a full variety and a full mix to really customize and really add that extra film touch. Here's the three frames. All of these are PNG overlays, so you can easily just drag and drop your imagery into these placeholders. And I will show you how to do that in just a moment. Let me just kind of walk you through a little bit more of the assets in this pack. You have your Hasselblad medium format right here, some film burns with the clutter and some of the tape. And then you get some of the film accents all around it. And then you have your Polaroid film frames. And then you can click into the sprockets folder. And this is a bit of our personal favorite. Get these really cool sprocket holes with the kind of film burn around there and some light leaks. And you have your punch holes. And then you have some leader and clutter. You kind of have all these film burns and some tape at the end of the film negative roll that are really cool when you kind of overlay on your image just to add that really unique texture. And then we have three categories of dirt and noise for you. We have a light, a medium, and a heavy. And so you can kind of go in here and just quickly see what these are like. And then we have some film accents, which are pre-keyed out a variety of Kodak Portra 400 where it's really just kind of the labels on the overscanned negative. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Let's grab one of our three frames here. Kodak 800 film frames. I'm gonna grab a few images from a trip to Japan that we did. And let's see, let's grab two more to fill in the film strip. All right, and then you can just as easily click and drag each one of these images in and you place them below your film strip and you just size them down into place. Just like so, Command T allows you to transform your image and you just do that with each one of your images. And voila. So just within a minute or two, you have multiple images displayed in a film strip in Photoshop, looking pretty darn good with little time and effort into that. From there, obviously you can go ahead and add in any of the additional film texture that we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and do one other example here for you. I'm gonna grab a, another image from the trip. And I'm gonna show you the sprockets here, which are pretty cool and definitely one of the favorites. Let's try this guy right here. Film sprockets number two. Drag and drop that on top of your image and just you know resize it and turn it how you would like to fit on top of the image. 
and then you change your blending mode to anything that you would like really you know here's darken multiply darker color overlay hard light is pretty cool i think i kind of like the darken the most on this one you can you can move this up so it looks like it's at the end of the image where where we've included the end of the film frame and here at the top we have some of that film burn a little bit so maybe if you want to pull that down you can do that as well so it's really a great pack to add that 100 percent authentic film touch to your photos and your video next i'm going to jump into premiere pro and just show you again how easy this is to edit for your videos so whether you're in davinci resolve after effects vegas all the same principles apply here so again we have our six folders in here we have our baseline clip here i'm going to do one of the 120 millimeter film frames here for you let's check out this Hasselblad. that looks cool i'll go ahead and drag and drop that on top of the video clip and we will simply just scale it down do the same thing with your video scale it down a bit to fit within the frame and then you can go into your opacity and click the pen tool to draw an easy mask around the video layer and it's as simple as that just so that it can be seen a bit better let's go ahead and add a white color mat underneath it and there you go so have fun with this guys we recommend checking out the split screen film mats in 8k it's a great complimentary pack to your asset library it works both with video and photo you'll get 90 png split screen film mats in three categories a clean a dirty and a dirtiest for full customization and they're super simple to use they're the perfect artistic touch to split your single scene into a dynamic layout of visual components allowing you to display multiple shots and perspectives into a single frame with much less time and effort. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.